Welcome, Dark Warriors. This is Rumin. A short recap of events is we conquered the ruins of Kaffer and we defeated Norton, who appears to have a stronghold over Whipple here. We also were rescued by Cliff, who is a Clausian officer, and we also saved Nicholas and fixed Mina's music box. So yes, that has a lot to get done in just one episode. Anyway, I'm guessing right now we can return to our ship, so that is where I am going. Listen, if you like, why don't you come to live in our village? If you did, I'm sure Nicholas and Mina would be so delighted. You can't? I see, I suppose you must have somewhere to which you must return. If you must go, I can... I'll explain it to the two kids as best as I can. Still, please come visit us if you like. We'll be waiting with open arms. Can you heal me? Okay, there we go. Thank you. That's, that's what I've been waiting for. I needed a convenient healing spot, but this game wasn't giving me one. Thanks. Well, I can talk to these people again. Another way over there. Oh, you make me sick, 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 sick. I'd, I, I've i I've had to suffer through all sorts of things, too. And what good has it done me? Well, it looks like we'll just have to earn an honest living after all. Well, you sure have a way of making things sound easy. Look what's become of me because of you. Everything's your fault. How do I interact with those people? I don't know. They seem important. I guess I'll find out eventually. There's a person in the corner right here. Ah, help. No more, please. I'm sorry, everyone. Just spare me, please. Oh, someone jumped you? Bumped and bruised young man? Everything's my fault. The skies blew the cows away, and the well water is cold. All because of me. So please, I'm begging you to spare my life. Are you telling me the... <laughs> Are you telling me the townspeople all beat you up? Is that what you're saying? And they gaslighted you into believing you did all these terrible things? Oh, God. I don't think I like the people in, in, in this town anymore. See y'all later. Oh, continue event. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right. Now, you remember that cliff near your escape pod? Our way out lies beyond there. Let's go. Okay. No, wait, hold on a second. Go, go back in there, wait a second. There's clearly a side quest with these people, right? Was, was, was this NPC right here before? I don't think she was. Norton's gang has disbanded and those who had left the village have returned safely. But those who Norton made disappear have not returned. I killed them all. Um, What about this? How do I engage with those people? These people right here. Oh, you made me sick. Like, this is all the same dialogue. There's very obviously a side quest right there, but I can't get to them. Explain yourself, game. I don't know. I guess I'll leave that alone for now. The game very clearly wants me to get to them somehow, but I can't. I, I, I don't know how. Okay, so we said beyond the... Beyond our escape pod, so that's where we gotta go, right? Totally, definitely. Backtrack all the way there. I'm gonna walk through this little path right here. Wow, look at that. I like this little path. Ooh, shiny. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I like how you can make the map really large like this. You could not do that in the first two Star Ocean games. I like that. In the first two Star Ocean games, it was a little thing in the corner all the time. And it's kind of hard to see sometimes, because when it zoomed out, and it was just that little box fully zoomed out, it's like you can barely make out anything on the map. But in this game, they fixed that issue by having it display on the screen. Okay, like... I took all the pod parts, including... Yeah, all these parts. I should destroy it for the sake of this planet. That would be a difficult decision to make. But can you destroy it? Do you have what it takes to destroy this? I don't think you do. I mean, no offense. Uh, what now? That cutscene very clearly hinted at me to come here, and now I'm here. So, what do I do? Oh! Well, then again, the game also hinted at me to... Hey, it's me. We're at the location. Transport us up as soon as you can. 
The game also hinted that I need to talk to those two angry people outside that house, and I couldn't get to them, so... Maybe this game is just being misleading and getting in my head. This game is gaslighting me. Huh? Oh, no problem. I got him. I said it's okay. I haven't done anything. Yeah, I know. Now hurry up and get us out of here. <laughs> I have a feeling this guy is not very good at his job. Just from the way he's talking to whoever he's talking to right now. Seems to sort of imply that they were kind of iffy on sending Cliff here to get us. I said it's okay. I haven't done anything. My ship will be here soon. Once we're ready, it's good riddance to this hunk of rock. My ship's not so big, but it's packing a gravitic warp engine. It's quite the speed demon. Hey, Cliff? Yeah? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why does Quark's leader want to meet with me? I'm just a college student from Earth! Oh, uh... No comment. <laughs> <laughs> That's a... I, he, he deserves the no. That's, uh... It's not doing it for you, is it? Well, no, it wouldn't. No, it's not. Yeah. Let's see. Well, I guess the biggest reason would be our leader wants to chat with you. Oh, that's that. That's funny. Cliff doesn't even know. Nice try, but that's avoiding the question. Why does your leader want to meet with me? Hey, how should I know? I just do what I'm told. There's probably something our leader wants to talk to you about. And that something is? Well... <sighs> You'll just have to come with me and find out for yourself. Sorry, kid, but I, I don't know much more than that. I have a little theory. I, I like predicting things. I'm going to try to predict what's going to happen. So we know that his dad is smart, to say the least. And Cliff does know that Fate's father is alive. So this is just my prediction. Since the Clausians know that Fate's dad is alive, they can probably get his father to do some sort of scientific research for them. And then they hear about his son. They're like, oh, he has a son? He's a college student. And they probably know that he's good at combat. So they're like, okay, there's this guy out there who's the son of this very intelligent scientist who may also be smart themselves and appears to be good at fighting. He may be a valuable asset to us. They're going to recruit Fate to become an officer, that's what I think. Oh god! That's fucking terrifying. Wait, is that his ship? That's fucking hilarious. He told us it wasn't that big. That's our music box playing. Is that the last of this planet? Oh, this is a pre... A pre-rendered cutscene right here. Oh, whoa. Okay, whoa. Thank you for three aspect ratio. Well, let's get a move on. She'll be expecting us. Yeah, I totally missed something. I had to do- I had to talk to those- those out-of-bound NPCs who are talking about being in a struggle. I had to do something with them, but I don't know what it is, so oh well. The rendezvous point is Beta 747372406. You got that, Mirage? Roger. Engaging conventional engines? Gravitic warp core, normal. Welcome back. Sorry to keep you waiting. 
This is my navigator and partner in crime. I leave the day-to-day -day operation of the ship to her. <laughs> navigator and partner in crime. Can I recruit both these people? Mirage, this is our target. Target. Yes, I knew right away. Nice to meet you, Fate. I'm Mirage Kos. Fate and Mirage's name are in blue. I'm guessing any name that appears in blue is a name of a character you can play as. Nice to meet you, too. She's beautiful. What's this triumphant music playing? Fate, you okay? Oh, and listen, don't fall for it. She may look pretty, but she's a clausy. Any funny ideas, and you're liable to meet a swift yet painful death. <laughs> what? Is it really that big of a deal? Also, you think there'd be more of an introduction there, but no face just like, oh, she's pretty, and then this very triumphant music starts playing, and then it fades back to him sitting in the chair. Hey, wait a sec. Who said I was falling for anyone? Relax, I was just warning you. I was wondering, just how long will it take till we get to your leader? What, do you think the leader's gonna be hot as well, Fate? Uh, we'll be there soon. It's about three hours to the rendezvous point. Mirage, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm leaving you in charge. Oh, Cliff, it looks like you can forget that shower. Nah, these people are all barking no bite. They won't hurt a fly. The most Fate is gonna get from hitting on her is a bitch slap across the face. It, 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 it won't be much worse than that. Huh? What is it? I've just detected a gravitic space anomaly up ahead. Or pepper sprayed. He make it pepper sprayed. I'm bringing us out of gravitic space to avoid it. You serious? You think it's hostile? Ah, uh, the controllers are rumbly. What, Mirage? I couldn't hear you over the sound of the jet engine stopping. Two Vendini battleships detected 400,000 kilometers ahead. An ambush, huh? Man, it's bad enough having to worry about Federation ships. Open up a comm link. Hold on. Connection confirmed. Okay, the link's open. Uh... <clears throat> This is the Eagle, a Clausian ship. We don't want any trouble with you. You're wasting your time. <laughs> he has a way with words. The enemy ships are already prepared to attack. Seems they know who we've got on board. Escape's our only hope. How important is fate here? It'll be tough without using gravitic warp, but we've got no choice. Reverse course. Conventional engines, full power. So the Clausians aren't the only one who want fate. They, they, he, he's also being tracked by other sources. Roger. Is there a tracker on fate? Full power to rear shields. And let me see a chart for this region. <laughs> All right. Course 116, mark 267. Activate auto evasion program. Fasten crew safety harnesses. Roger. Course entry complete, speed maximum, program activated. Hey, feeling lucky, kid? Well, they can't see anything now. Uh, the controller is rumbling. Ugh. We've evaded round one from the enemy's disruptor cannon. I'm guessing the rumbles on the controller are signifying that they're being hit. All right. As soon as we're there, go into gravitic warp. Cliff, gravitic warp is currently non-functional. Because it's not a consistent rumble. It's like one rumble here, and then another rumble later, and stuff like that. I got a hunch it'll function the moment we reach the objective point. Get us on a straight line between the ships and that planet. Then pop us up star side. We'll open up the distance that way. Very well. But we won't be able to designate our warp destination. Well, we're toast if we stay here, Mirage. Anyhow, space is big, right? 
Our odds ain't that bad. You got a hunch? Roger. The enemy's fired again. Four rounds now approaching. Four, huh? This is gonna be close. Either we enter Gravitic Warp first or we get pumped. Now's the time to pray, gentlemen. Unfortunately, it looks like we might lose the race. Here comes the first round now, and we're seven seconds from objective point. Ah, who cares if we take a few rounds? Warp our butts out of here! Warp engine damaged, but still functioning. You bet it is! Activate Gravitic Warp! pre-rendered cutscene. Oh, whoa. Whoa, it's such a good cutscene. Whoa. Dude, Trius is so good at pre-rendered cutscenes. Thrown off the Vendini ships. Whew. That was close. Yes, but now we're pretty far from the rendezvous point. Well, it can't be helped. Besides, it won't hurt to make her wait a little longer. Let's take our time. Wow, your hunch really paid off. Finally, some respect. Yeah, a healthy respect for your recklessness. What is that supposed to mean? A little more honesty would be nice. Like, hey, that cliff sure is something. Or, you're a genius, Cliff. Oh my god. Sorry to interrupt while you're having so much fun. He's a muscle head. What is it, Mirage? He's exactly what Sophia was warning us we would turn into if he kept playing video games. The gravitic warp core is overheating. We should reduce speed immediately. The engine will scram if we don't. What? Didn't I specifically request that you tell me these things sooner? You don't gotta say shit to anyone. Get back to conventional space, pronto. Roger. Bad news. Now what? <laughs> you think that because this is his job, he would expect this type of thing all the time, but every little inconvenient thing that happens just surprises him, which is funny. Both the conventional and gravitic warp engines have scrammed. The backup engine isn't functioning either. I'd say we have a problem. Damn it! It'd be funny if he said, what problem? Where are we now? We're currently within Elicor 2's gravitational field. If all our energy sources are shot, then we can't communicate either. Well... I'm sure she'll figure out something happened to us after we don't show up when we're supposed to. One would hope so. Well, Mirage, come up with something. <laughs> it's gonna make her do all the work. I'll see what I can do. What can we do? Aren't all the engines scrammed? I'm guessing Cliff doesn't even know how to fly this thing. For starters, we gotta land before we crash. Then, we wait to be rescued. <laughs> Great plan. <laughs> and that process repeats itself for the rest of the game. Look, my mission is to bring you to our leader. Until then, I'll watch out for you. Trust me. And then when we finally get to the leader, she's the final boss. You're as safe as... Uh, as a turtle in its shell. A turtle dropping out of orbit. Huh? Did you say something? Nothing. We'll be entering into Elicor 2's atmosphere in another 30 seconds. Get ready for a bumpy ride, you two. And keep wagging those tongues and you'll bite them off. I wouldn't want either of you to die of blood loss. Yes, Roger. Ma'am. Whoa, another FMV! Whoa, that, oh, that's a short one. What is that thing? Oh, this place is beautiful. Oh, is that where they crashed? Oh my god. 
I hope they didn't hurt anybody. A star fallen from the sky? Oh, these people are super primitive. Nonsense. It looks nothing like a falling star. Well, what is it then? How am I supposed to know? Just our luck. We landed right in the middle of a city. Not to mention we're out of power. And the helm is out of whack. Cliff! Louder! You should be happy to be alive. What? Speak up! I guess this is no time to be worrying about the UP3. What do we do now? I like how fate does kind of care that he's breaking the law. Like, he's not completely oblivious to what he's doing. Uh, panicking, it can't do right now. How can I calm down? We just crashed our spaceship into the middle of a city of an underdeveloped planet. There is more than just a simple violation. I mean, this is more than just a simple violation of the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. Oh man. You know what? You worry too much. You don't worry enough. I just see uh, Fate's little animation there. Yeah, you're probably right. I like that Fate cares. He's a caring guy. Mirage, what kind of planet is Elecor 2? The second planet in the Elecor system has an axial tilt of 32.6 degrees and is 8.2 astronomical units from its planet star and gravity is 0.9 G. Oh, this place is just like Earth. Other than the fact that its atmosphere is mostly comprised of noble gases such as neon instead of hydrogen. My goodness. It has atmospheric composition which closely resembles that of Earth. According to my data, the technology level on this planet is near that of medieval Earth or around the 17th century. Although the planet is registered in the Galactic Atlas as an underdeveloped planet, it appears to be in a constant state of conflict. So there are no figures for the total population of sentient beings. So we're stuck on an underdeveloped planet. Is this how this game is going to be? Like we keep going to slightly further developed planets throughout the game. I'm stuck in here if I don't do something. Because at first it was the 16th century and now we're on a 17th century planet. And then maybe we're going to go to an 18th century planet. That's cool. Is that how this is going to play out? Uh, what do I do in this little room? Relax, panic thing won't change a thing. Gotta talk to Mirage again. Do we at least have the information on our current location? Well, sentient life forms do live in this area. We don't have any detailed information like government, but this is a pretty large city. External air temperature is minus five degrees Celsius. Both falling and deposited snow have been detected. A city. She just nodded right there. We also know that there are two major continents on this planet. There's the one we're on now and the other one to the east. The continent to the east appears to have a slightly higher level of civilization. I see. Can I not leave? The door is locked. Won't open that easily. Oh. What What do I examine? Anakin won't change a thing. Okay, continue event. You there, move! Out of the way! Off the road! What's this? One of Aquarius' new weapons? This place is like Savalin from Starship First Departure. We seem to be surrounded by a group of local soldiers now. What will you do? Not much we can do with the Eagle scrap like this. Fighting our way out isn't really an option. Well, at least we're still in one piece. For now, maybe. Oh well, let's just step outside and see what happens. Hold on just a second. Even minimal contact with the inhabitants of an underdeveloped planet will get us in trouble. Besides, we have no idea what they'll do to us once we're out there. You got any better ideas? 
hate to point this out, but I think we've already made contact. Rather forcefully, anyway. Well, still. Yeah, fate doesn't want to get Don't worry. any deeper into this. They already interacted with an underdeveloped planet, so, you know, doing that twice in a row is probably a heavy violation that he doesn't want to break. I've got a hunch they won't kill us right away. <laughs> okay. Another hunch? Come on, trust me. Didn't we make it here safely? I tell you, my hunches are always right. How about that time when we almost crashed into that asteroid because of a hunch? Almost. You didn't actually crash. Yeah, but that was one time. One time. At any rate, I don't think we have any other choice. What do you think they'll do? Well, we'll probably be taken prisoner. You say it like you don't even care. Yeah, but only you and I will. What? Say that again. Huh? What about Mirage? We'll have Mirage wait until later to make an escape. Mirage, stay until nightfall, then leave under the cover of darkness. Right. That shouldn't be a problem. But Mirage, all alone? <laughs> You're forgetting. She's a closet. You'll be fine. I pity the soldier that tries to take her. Want me to come rescue you? Nah, no need. There'll probably be too many of them anyway. We'll think of something. You scout around and find a way to contact the Diplo. Don't put yourself in danger trying to hook up with us. They should be able to home in on our position as long as we make contact. They can come get us then. Roger. All right, time to go. Fate, be careful. Thanks. You too, Mirage. Cliff. I said it'll be okay. I'm counting on you. Okay, be careful. Can I recruit you? How do I recruit you? Be careful, I'll meet up with you as soon as I can. I find it funny how that one thing he said was so quiet, it literally sounded like he didn't even say it at all. Hey! There's something moving! What? Person. Oh my gosh, they look so different from everyone else There's here. There's people in there! And I'm sure the fact that Fate has a weird drawing on his shirt isn't helping at all either. Get him! They're probably like, what language is this? Wait, please! Give it up, kid. Nothing we can do. Give up? Look behind you. Huh? Oh, that guy had scary eyes. Well, what was it? We believe it to be a new Aquarian weapon, Your Majesty. We have the two crew members locked up in the dungeon. Very well. Continue with your investigation and step up the pace of the invasion of Arius. If the enemy has indeed brought a new weapon into active service, then time is of the essence. Aeroglyph the 13th? That's an interesting name. Your Majesty. What think you, Waltar? If this object that has fallen on our city is truly a new Aquarian weapon, then we are in trouble. Aquaria has shown an admirable ability to wage war of late. Lord Waltar appears to lack confidence. Harry Glyph has your Storm Brigade cavalry, Albel's Black Brigade heavy cavalry, and my winged Dragon Brigade for good measure. Okay, I know Albel is important because Albel's name is in blue. They stand no chance against our legion, sire. But that probably means we can recruit Albel. Their weapons have proven themselves little threat to us. Anything they throw at us, we return in spades. 
pride comes before the fall. Surely a measure of prudence would do us no harm. Right, Albel? Dude! It's Lazard! <laughs> he looks so anime! Oh my god! <laughs> The, the reason why that's funny is because everyone else here looks kind of medieval, classical, kind of antique style. And then you have this Sasuke character. <laughs> if they're the enemy, we kill them. If they aren't, we dispose of them. Simple. Oh my god. If only things were as simple as you say. Regardless, we have yet to see any evidence the object is a new Aquarian weapon. My men have already begun to interrogate the crew members. See, so you go from this tough guy with a beard and he's balding, and then you go to Albel and he's a fucking Sasuke character. They'll talk before long. The Inquisitor. He always seems to enjoy his work a bit too much. He is the best. As long as they do not die before they talk. We are not barbarians. Even prisoners have certain rights, you know. You speak absurdities. Prisoners have no rights. We'll hurt them until they squeal. If they die as a result, then so be it. You've grown much too soft in your old age, Voltar. Voltar's name is in blue. Uh, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm getting the color-coded names wrong. I highly doubt you can recruit Wolter. Compared to you, that may be true. I'm willing to do what's necessary. But I think your men have a tendency to take things too far. What's the big deal? Just find out whether they're enemies or not. If that's too much trouble, I'll be happy to take care of them. We know what we have to do, my lord. If we do kill them, we'll make sure they cough before they croak, eh? I certainly hope so. That will be quite enough. Now is not the time for us to haggle over such matters. Indeed, it is not. Vox, continue your interrogation. Woltar and Albel, return to your posts. We are counting on your knights. You are the pride of our great kingdom. Yes, yes sir. sir. Why don't you just spit it out? Oh my god. Play nice and we'll treat you right. They can take it. He's a trooper. That thing you were riding, what was that? A new Aquarian weapon, eh? That's a shame. They're they're confusing whatever crash landed as a weapon from the opposing side of whatever conflict they're in currently. What fate? Speak up. Answer the question. <clears throat> That's right, fate. Say it louder, because I can't hear shit. I told you. I don't know. Oh my god. The controller rumbling every time a whip sound effect takes place is a little bit overkill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is sad. Don't you smack my main dude. Because the developers mm -hmm. really want to make it feel like you're getting whipped. Damn. Just getting fun. Oh my gosh. See you again soon, my little kid. <laughs> you. Know this one in the cell. Yes, sir. Ah, <clears throat> oh, there's a rat right there. They couldn't even throw him on the bed. Threw him on the Yo, stone pavement right? next to the bed. <laughs> How you doing, Cliff? You seem well. Yeah, I'm fine. Ah, uh, ouch. Tch. 
fate very clearly isn't fine, but he's still trying to pull through. Just sits next to you him. You don't look fine. Tell me, fate, what's troubling you? Look who's talking. Well, yeah, but I'm more used to torture than you are. <laughs> he just doesn't feel pain at all. Because you're a member of an anti-federation organization. You could say I've been around. Hey, you held up pretty well, though. What could I do? It's not like they'd believe me if I told them I came from outer space. Good point. I mean, why wouldn't they believe that? Why'd you let them catch you anyway? I mean, you could have gotten away, right? Huh? Nah. It would have been too much of a hassle. A hassle? Yeah, a pain in the butt. I couldn't just leave you there anyway. And I kind of wanted to see what was going on firsthand. So, you find anything out? As a matter of fact, I did. What? The whips on this planet hurt too. <laughs> They're making jokes out of this very serious moment. Fate's very not laughing. Funny. Oh yeah, Fate's upset. Say, do you know what Aquaria is? I actually thought it was very funny. Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning it. He kept referring to the eagle as a new Aquarian weapon. I'm guessing Aquaria is the other continent that was mentioned earlier. Huh. Must be the name of their enemy. So what? They think we're spies? I'm thinking you got that right. <sighs> These restraints are pretty solid. <sighs> Damn! They're too tight! I can't move at all! Um... That's why they call them restraints? Don't bother me with semantics, kid. How are we gonna get out of these? Do you think Mirage got away okay? Ah, she'll be fine. Like I told you, she's a Clausian. <laughs> I bet she snuck off into town a long time ago. Cliff, can you say that she's a Clausian one more time for us? I hope you're right. Ugh. How am I supposed to rescue my dad trapped like this? I don't know why the Vendini captured him, but I doubt they're showing him much hospitality. Hey, cheer up. Somebody will show up to spring us out of this place soon enough. Then we'll be on our way. You'll see. And who would that somebody be? You told Mirage she shouldn't bother coming in after us. And it's not like we know anybody else. And I doubt your leaders found out about what happened to us yet. They're here already. What? Who? Huh? Oh, she's cool. I love her. Friend or foe? I don't know, but there's somebody here. Hey. Hey. You have two options. Accept my conditions and live. Or refuse and die here. I'll accept your conditions. It's your choice. Huh? What kind of options are those? The correct choice should be obvious. So what are your conditions? I want your help, that's all. I'll help you. Or help. That's right. You two were riding that lump of metal that fell in the town, correct? We want your technology. Please be recruitable. Please, please be recruitable. I want this to. I, I want this to be a recruitable character. Our technology. We can't let you have that. Why not? Why not? Well, I can't tell her about the UP3. How am I going to explain this? Why can't you? Hey, you just answered your own question. You explain it by telling her about the UP3. Oh my gosh. And what would you do with our technology if we gave it to you? We'd use it to end the war that rages between this country and mine. With our side victorious, of course. Okay, how- We- We don't know if this is the side we want to be on because we just crash-landed here. What if- 
you know, Aquaria. What if Aquaria are the good guys in this conflict? Hold on a minute. Your country? So, you're not one of the people that threw us in here? In fact, I'm assuming that we did crash land on the quote-unquote bad side because they just whipped us and then they threw us in jail. That's not very nice. Who's to say Aquaria would have done the same thing? No, I'm not from Maryglyph. I'm from Aquaria. Let's go! She's from the good guys. Aquaria. The interrogator kept mentioning that name. Makes sense now. I thought she was from Aeroglyph at first. If you've been interrogated, I wouldn't think you'd have any particular loyalty to Aeroglyph. Why not help me? Good point. We'll help you. He's so trusting. What are you saying? Give us a moment, all right? Shut your trap, kid. But she wants our technology. What were you planning on teaching them? Come on, you saw this civilization's level of technology? Look, all they need is a little college physics. I don't know about you, kid, but I was paying attention in class. You're right about that. But what about the UP3? Man, what a square. And again, maybe that's your redeeming feature, huh? Straight as an arrow, just like... Whoa. Mirage? Just like who? Huh? Did I say something? Uh, never mind, kid. I'm minding. Jeez, forget about it. Listen, based on what she said, we must be in Ericliff right now. And this place is at war with her country, Aquaria. You with me so far? You don't need... You don't need to be patronizing about it. I mean, yes, you already know all this. Yeah. I like how Fate said that. He was like, yeah, like, yes, I know. Like, like the tone he said it in implies that he's getting sick of this conversation. Good. Okay. Both sides think we have some kind of unknown technology. Well, that makes sense. A big flying metal thing did land in the middle of a medieval town. What else could they think? I think he's supposed to be quiet right now because I don't think he wants that girl to hear what they're saying right now, but it's still really quiet even if we don't cooperate with her Ericliff will want our help too I doubt their terms will be any better yeah I know yeah but so what I'm saying is if we're gonna cooperate with someone it might as well be that hot chick over there you know what I mean oh my gosh he's being shallow the whole time no I can't believe this you're insane my man fate respects women Okay, let's say that was a joke. Either way, we can do whatever we want once we're out of this place. We'll just wait for our chance and make a run for it. We're not doing much better here in prison with our hands all in shackles. And if we die here, who's gonna rescue your dad, huh? I figured you'd want to meet him in this life, not the next. All right. You win, for now. I mean, yeah, that that is the good way to put it, though. The red-haired girl is clearly a much better choice than the fat guy who was wearing the dominatrix mask earlier, so... Yeah. That a boy. Alright, we've discussed it. We'll help you. Now get us out of here! Then we have a deal. Step back from the bars. She gonna kick it down like a badass? Oh, magic! Oh, whoa! Oh, she's cool! What did she just do? You're free. Thanks for getting us out of there. Now, uh, can you use that little trick of yours to get these off us, too? Don't move. Oh, gosh. Thank you very much. Oh, she cut them? Yeah, thanks. No thanks needed. I'm just doing my job. But I'm going to hold you to your part of the bargain. Huh? You said you'd cooperate with us. 
Don't think you can just wait for your chance to run either, because I won't let you. If you try, I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, she heard us. I should thank you for calling me hot, though chick I can live without. It's okay, red-haired woman. I would never call you a chick if if you don't like that. No, I wouldn't. I'm Nell Zelfer. Hi, Nell. Hey, hi. Can I recruit you? Will you recruit her, yes or no? Yes. Agent for the Sacred Kingdom of Aquaria. Ah, oh, she has to be recruitable. Please, please be a recruitable. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. My name's Fate Line God, and this is... Cliff Fitter. Fate and Cliff. My pleasure. So, where are you from? And what is the metal thing you came here in? What do we tell her? Be honest. Follow my lead. I'll handle this. It's funny if he's like, just follow my lead. I'll handle this. And then he just tells her everything that happened. Like, just completely how it happened. Yeah, sure. We're from a country on a continent far to the east of here. It's a pretty small country, so nobody's really heard of it, but we've got some pretty solid technology. Oh my god. From the east? One of the countries in Greeton? Not the country that invaded Aquaria. She believed that? Is that what you call it here? Yeah, that's where we're from. We're engineers. What are engineers from Greeton doing in Aeroglyph? Well, the long story would take all day, so I'll give you the short version. Fate's dad got uh, captured by an enemy country. We were on our way to rescue him in this newly developed uh, vehicle, but it broke down on the way. And we ended up here. Yes, it broke down through the wall. I see. <laughs> I don't think she believes him. He sure is a smooth talker, and not all of it is lies, either. I, I guess not. So you are from Greeton. I thought as much. How so? There is no country on this continent with that level of technology. It was an easy conclusion. Well, you satisfied? More or less. What I am sure of is there's no way we can let Aeroglyph have you. You must cooperate with us. Nell, that's your name, right? Yes. What do you mean by cooperate? What technology did you want exactly? Yes, well... What's going on down here? Hey, you... What? They're changing the guard already? You two, you have any fighting experience? Huh? Why? Because you're about to get some. Don't you worry about us. You could say we're above average. <laughs> above average isn't very good in terms of Star Ocean. You might be able to fight with your bare hands, but I need some kind of weapon. Because these games usually end with very high level enemies and stuff like that. I thought this might happen. In there. What's this? Your stuff. I got it back for you. Great. Thanks. One more thing. Fate, right? You can't go around dressed like that. I don't know if the size will match or not. Anyway, put those on. Uh, thank you. Received your things. Thank you. Oh, oh! Oh, look at him! He's dressed like a Kingdom Hearts protagonist! Oh, he looks so good in that! No freaking way! Dude, that's so much cooler! And he and he makes little chain noises when he walks, just like a Kingdom Hearts protagonist. Oh my god. We would be but a nuisance. Flee while you can. Don't worry about us. A priest? Why, why are you being arrested, huh? Can I examine any of these doors? Be wary, armed soldiers lie and wait for you. Oh god. That was a very quick battle transition. Here we 
Hey, that's the guy who tortured me earlier. Oh my god, she's on my team now. Oh wait, am I stronger now? I feel I I feel a little stronger. Nope, don't do that. Keep pressing the, the different buttons by accident because you use more buttons to attack, so it's very easy to slide your button over the triangle button. I mean to slide your finger over the triangle button. Because the other two Star Ocean games, there's only one button to attack. Oh my gosh, that, that guy's a lot of health. No, no, I'm sorry, no. Oh god. I didn't mean it. Oh god. Now I feel bad. I can't hit anything. Ah. Fate lock on to the godforsaken enemy. Oh boy. Hurry. They'll be here any minute. Wait a sec. Yes? How are we gonna get out? There are lots of soldiers outside. We'll go out through there. The innovation shack? Looks like kind of a tight fit. Don't complain. If we can get through there, it widens out a bit. We'll just have to squeeze through that first part. Yeah, yeah. Faith, you go first. I'll bring up the rear. Oh, cool. Where are we? We're in like a whole new dungeon or something. We're in the aqueducts that wind their way under the city. Aqueducts, huh? Hey, it's all frozen over. This comes as a surprise to you? It is winter in Aeryglyph. Didn't you see the snow falling outside? Hmm, good point. Careful. You're no good to us if you fall in the water and freeze to death. Scary. Let's get moving. This way leads to the city if we can make it through. I find it interesting that she thought that Fate's clothes were inappropriate, but she didn't think that cliffs were. Uh, is there any way I can revive you? A fresh sage? There we go. That does it. Alrighty. I'm also going to use a blueberry on her. Yeah. Okay. Let's get started. Wow. The game just looks better with fate wearing this. Oh, there's a little healing spot right here. I didn't have to waste my healing supplies. Ugh. I need to be more observant. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna save. And that was a long fucking cutscene, so that'll be where I shall end off this video. Yeah, this episode was nothing but cutscenes, but you know, that's just bound to happen sometimes when you let's play a game. So we solved the whole conflict on Whipple in Vanguards. That was pretty cool. And now we're on this whole new planet with a whole new conflict. Something I've noticed from Trice so far in this Trice marathon I'm doing is that they love introducing little conflicts to progress you through the story. So they'll have one big overarching plot, and then to make it through that plot, they introduce a bunch of little plots. Like currently, right now, we are trying to get to our family, just like in Star Ocean 2, but we had to deal with something on Whipple, and now we are on this medieval planet, which is really cool. And yeah, I think that's really neat. It helps keeps the player engaged with what's happening because there's so much happening, you know, it's kind of like overflowing the brain, but I do like it. You know, like at first we were with Sophia playing video games and then all of a sudden the vessel on the ship exploded. And then all of a sudden we were on Whipple and all of a sudden we had to save Whipple. And then all of a sudden we're at this new planet and oh my gosh, so much is happening. Whoa. Yeah, Trius is really good at fitting a lot of stuff into a plot, if that makes sense, which I like. Like, their games are always so compact. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching Dark Warriors. 